My name is Noel, mate of the Knights of Favonius, and it's my pleasure to be joining you on your adventure today. Should you encounter any problems at all at any point throughout your journey, please do not hesitate to call me, and I will be delighted to provide you with my full assistance. Yes, starting right now. What do you need? Hey guys, today we are going to be showcasing Noel. She's a free four star Geo greatsword user. And by free, I mean she's on the beginner banner. So once you get to adventure rank five, uh, by gradually progressing through the story quest, there will be a beginner banner shown to you. Um, she's guaranteed as long as you pull on it, which you should. But here we are. This is her character model. Without further ado, let's hop in. All right, first and foremost, let's start with the profile. Everything fits on screen nice and easy. Pause the video, screenshot anything you guys need to do. We got her talents. All right, starting with the first one, her normal attack, perform up to four consecutive strikes. Um, her charged attack drains stamina over time to perform continuous spinning attacks against all nearby enemies. At the end of the sequence, perform a more powerful slash. And then her plunging attack uh, plunges from midair to strike the ground below, damaging enemies along the path and dealing AoE damage upon impact. The pretty basic standard. Here are her um, attributes. All of, the, all of this is, of course, at base level 1. And now we have her Breastplate, her E ability, um, summons Protective Stone Armor, dealing geo, geo damage to surrounding enemies and creating a shield. The shield's damage absorption scales based on Noel's defense. The shield has the following properties. When Noel's normal and charged attacks hit a target, they have a certain chance to regenerate HP for all characters. Possesses 250% absorption efficiency against geo damage, um, and the amount of HP healed when regeneration is triggered scales based on Noel's defense. So basically, Noel's a free character that you can get on the beginner's banner. She's not the best healer, but I mean she'll do for the time being. I want to say you you can build her with a lot of defense. And when you use your breastplate, you have like a 50% chance of healing your entire party and other people in co-op as long as you normal or charge attack. Now, however, if you do take a lot of damage and your breastplate goes down, you lose your shield. That, go, that, that effect goes away. So you need to have your shield active when you're auto attacking or charge attacking in order to regenerate HP for yourself or uh, the party. And then here are the skill attributes. Now we have her ultimate, sweeping time. <clears throat> Gathering the strength of stone around her sword, Noel strikes the enemies surrounding her within a large AoE, dealing geo damage. Afterwards, Noel gains the following effects. Larger attack AoE converts attack damage to geo damage. And increased attack that scales based on her defense. Again, there we go. So her ultimate for her breastplate scales off her defense. Because it'll give uh, more healing the more defense she has. And so does her ultimate scaling off of her defense. More attack based on her defense. Here are the skill attributes. Her first passive, Devotion. When Noel is in the party but not on the field, this ability triggers automatically when the effect when the active character's HP falls below 30%. Creates a shield that lasts for 20 seconds and absorbs damage equal to 400% of Noel's defense. Uh, this effect can only occur once every 60 seconds. So if you are because you're gonna be wanting to use Noel as a support character. Um you use Noel's E, you switch over to a different char character because she's not going to be a damage dealer if you're putting a lot of defense in her. You're going to use her 
for her shield. You're going to use her to heal up a little bit if someone's low on health. And you're going to use her ultimate to generate elemental crystals to negate whatever elemental attack, um, whichever enemy you're fighting. So this is really good because for some, if, if you're on another character and they drop below 30% HP, boom, her breastplate gets automatically automatically applied to that character, a shield, you know? Last 20 seconds, absorbs damage up to 400%. Um, second passive, nice and clean. Every four or nor every four normal or charged attack hits will decrease the cooldown of breastplate by one second. Hitting multiple enemies with a single attack is only counted as one hit. Okay. And that's at Ascension Phase 4, so... And then, uh, Maid's Knighthood, the last passive, when a perfect cooking is achieved on Defense Boosting Dish. Noel has a 12% chance to obtain double the product. Alright. I think that is new. I don't think that was a thing before. Now we got our Constellations. Constellation 1, all sweeping time, her ultimate and breastplate, her skill, are both in effect. The chance of breastplate's healing effects activating is increased to 100%. So if you have your ultimate and then basically you just pop your ultimate, you pop your shield, you'll be able to heal 100% of the time every time you hit, so long as you have both active. Constellation 2, decreases the stamina consumption of Noel's charged attacks by 20% and increases her charged attack damage by 15%. All right. Invulnerable Maid increases the level of press breastplate, her E, by 3. Constellation 4, when breastplate's duration expires or it is destroyed by G by damage, it will deal 400% attack of geo damage to surrounding enemies. Pretty simple. You're, you pop your E, your shield. Whenever it goes away, boom, AoE damage. Whether it's destroyed or it just expires. Pretty simple. Constellation 5 is your ultimate, increased by 3. And then the final constellation, Sweeping Time, increases Noel's attack by an additional 40% of her defense. Additionally, every enemy defeated during the skill's duration adds another second to the duration, up to 10 seconds. And there you have it. Build defense. Build defense. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Here are the stats we're going to be working with right now. Just in case anyone is curious about that. Okay, now let's Leave jump. It to me. All of it, whatever it is. What exactly <laughs> is it? I didn't quite catch your request. Okay, no. All right, all right. Let's jump right into the skills. We have her basic attack. Big slam right there, a little bit of AoE. Alright, we have her charged attack. Which should continuously keep swinging as long as we have stamina. I don't think this stops. Oh, it does actually stop after a while. Interesting. Also, the sword we're using, if anyone is wondering, is prototype Aminus. The four-star Claymore um, two-handed greatsword. It is the weapon that you can obtain on the road event, if you guys are still curious about that. Alright, we have Noel's E ability. I must leave no stone unturned. Pretty simple, just a shield around our character, which will transfer to other characters, of course, when you swap. I mean, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it, in terms of her skills. I'm feeling like most of these Geo users are, are pretty simple, you know? But let's get into some combat so we can showcase her ultimate. And uh, maybe some of her healing as well from her E. I'll try and show that off. I'll catch up. But yeah, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, I see some enemies down there. I don't know what level they are. I'm hoping they're not too, too high leveled for us. Let's jump down. <laughs> Ooh, hit ourselves. Okay. We can heal it right back up. Let's try our healing ability. We're down a thousand. All right, we're down more. All right. Let's see. Pop our E. You see we healed for 192. You can see we're occasionally healing. 
So long as we have our breastplate active, and now we're back at full HP. And that will increase, your healing will get better the more defense you have. You're not going to be doing the most damage. But it could be a good source of, uh, it could be a good source of health if you don't have any other healers like Barbara, Jean, Chi Chi. Also, your, um, your E ability, your breastplate, your, your shield, will do damage to nearby enemies. And you can also generate elemental orbs that way as well. So if you're going against a pyro slime and you go up and hug the pyro slime and use your E ability on top of him, you'll generate a fire crystal, which you can pick up. Same with all the other corresponding elements. So that could be two shields on one, Noel's shield, and then the other shield you generate to negate even more damage against that element. Let's try and find some more enemies and... Uh, Show off this ultimate. All right, hard to ruin the fun. Leave it all to me. Also, our shield, if we're hugging them, does geo damage. We did 227 right there. All right, so now we have our ultimate, which there's a little animation upon doing so. Hits enemies within us or within our range. And we just have a big freaking sword. Now tell me, who does this remind you of? Does this ultimate remind you of anyone? Anyone from any anime that you might be thinking of? Or is it just me? And as you saw, we did produce some uh, some fire crystals right there when we were using our ultimate. That could be a good source of um, generating uh, elemental crystals. And that attack does scale off of our defense. So basically, you want to roll all defense items. We're using artifacts. I just threw on something to have defense. We don't have any set bonuses. Unfortunately, I just kind of threw on whatever gave defense as our, <laughs> as our main stat for the artifacts. But um, yeah, this is also the weapon if anyone is curious. But I think that's it, man. No, well, I mean, there's not really any synergies that I can do with other characters because she's a Geo user. Geo is mainly just kind of support. This is what Noel is about, you know? It's, it's pretty much what Noel is, Noel is about. You pop the shield. If you have your shield active, when you're hitting enemies, you heal. If you're close to an elemental enemy, like this water slime, you'll produce a water crystal. Maybe I can show that off right now against this water slime if he wants to come out from hiding. Yeah? You guys want to come out? Follow me? Alright, go up and hug him. Boom. Now we got two shields around us. Now we can just sit here and let him hit us and we don't have to worry about taking too much damage, right? Or any at all. <laughs> but yeah, that's no all. Pretty simple. Our other shield went away, but we still have the elemental shield. And there goes the elemental shield. All right. So once again, there you guys have it. That is Noel. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, I wouldn't use her as a main source of DPS. More likely support and just a substitute healer until you get Jean, Barbara, or uh, Chi Chi, because you will need a healer later on in the game for sure. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was informative. If you guys have any questions or comments or want to uh, suggest who to showcase next, please leave them down in the description. I'm more than happy to respond to you all. Other than that, I hope to catch you guys next time. You seem tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two.